Okay, the effects of the glass escalator. The glass escalator affects modern society through an increase in gender inequality. I-N-E-Q-U-A-L-I-T-Y, which leads to a decrease in workplace satisfaction and high turnover rates. This, in turn, leads to decreased productivity. P-R-O-D-U-C-T-I-V-I-E-Y. Yeah. Sounds like Melissa's going to yeah. come through the ceiling, huh? Yeah. In the workplace, regardless of the profession, a typical stereotype is that men make better leaders, which is usually why they advance at a faster rate than women. Women also face backlash due to career interruptions for legitimate reasons such as maternity leave. M-A-T-E-R-N-I-T-Y-L-E-A-V-E. That's when you leave work to go have a baby. Yeah. The women are faced with the choice of either continuing to work with little to no chance mm. of progression or raise while not feeling respected or returning hey. home. The term prototypical, P R O T O T Y P I C A L, is used to distinguish female dominant jobs from blue collar work in manual labor as well as to distinguish from uh, white collar work performed by men mm -hmm. who are generally well educated mm -hmm. and have an office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. All right, do you have your paintbrush? Oh, it's right here. All right, what does the glass escalator affect? Modern what? I don't know. You got this. Get your eyes on the letter. Jump down. S and up O and C and I and E and jump down next to T and Y, society, right. Yeah. Uh, when there's an increase in gender inequality, it leads to a decrease in what? I don't know. You got this, eyes on the letter, up one, P and jump down, R and O and D and U. B and I, oops, I and T and Y. Good job. Productivity. Um, what did the lesson mention? A legitimate reason was that women face backlash for work. We'll do a couple more. You're right. Can you scoot back just a tiny bit? There you go. That's it. All right, go ahead. M and A and T and Done. We're almost done? Yeah. It's so loud, huh? Yeah. All right. Uh, maternity. Oh, I didn't have you spell leave. Sorry. But maternity leave. Um, okay. What term was used to distinguish female dominant jobs from blue collar manual labor or white collar work performed by men? I don't know. You got this, dude. I know it. Up one. P. And R and O oh. and D huh. and U and up C and T and I and next door V and I and you're looking at me T and Y there you go done. We're done with that paragraph. You can go take a break and I'll finish reading. Okay. Men's hidden advantages in women-dominated companies. Hey. Oh, I just finished writing that. Yeah. Paul. to the corner school we went to target okay men's hidden advantages in women dominated companies a hidden advantage I'm going to say it. a d v a n t a g e 
right. is defined as a benefit for men that occurs in the workplace when they are not actually hard. trying to make anything happen. Six, X, I, X, or the number six, hidden advantages six. are as follows. One, higher wages. Two, faster career mobility. Three, more men in leadership roles. Four, male to male leaders training. Increase employer benefits. And six, preferential hiring. P R E F E R E N T I A L. Uh, a bold face. B O L D F A C E. Hidden advantage occurs when men work in female dominated careers and the men are given more benefits without even trying to receive them. Some women choose to leave their careers and turn to what is called pink collar work. Hey. P I N K C O L L A R. Pink collar workers are employed in a job that is traditionally labeled as for women or women's work. Nursing and teaching fields are pink collar industries due to the fact that men usually aren't found within these fields of work. Okay, come on back. Okay. How many hidden advantages did it say there was? Ready? Six. Good job, dude. I knew you'd know that. Six. Mm -hmm. um, and what type of hidden advantage occurs when men work in female dominated career fields and are given more benefits without even trying to receive them? I don't know. You got this, dude. Yeah. B. -b, sorry. B and O. Upstairs. Not yet. You want to go up there where it's so loud? No. All right, what color was mentioned in reference to women's work? I don't know. Okay. Put your eyes there. Yeah. P. Yeah. You're painting yourself with your sweat. That's gross. <laughs> I turned my air down. All right. Nursing and what are pink collar industries? I don't know. Hey, hey. It disappeared. That's crazy. It is. Go ahead. Next door. T. E. And A. Harder schools close. Go ahead. H. It is close. Go ahead. I. Yeah. And. Next one. G. Good job. Teaching. Couple more. Alright. Examples of glass escalator. Yeah. I weed The down. glass escalator effect within a workplace can be seen hey. when Jenny and Don are hired as teachers on the same day uh, and both have the uh, same background and qualifications. Q-U-A-L-F-I-C-A-T-I-O-N-S. Mm. Jenny and Don are hardworking, are equally hardworking hey. as well as responsible and engage with individuals who walk into the middle school. They mm. both have aspirations, A-S-P-I-R-A-T-I-O-N-S, to grow in the field of education after as leaders. After time passes, Don is given the opportunity for a oh. department head position while Jenny is not even a yep. candidate. C-A-N-D-I-D-A-T-E. Even though both teachers have the same work ethic oh. and other employees speak very highly of both of them, the administrator administration feels that Don would be seen as a better leader and taken more seriously than Jenny. 
Yeah. This sort of example can be seen all across the country in countless school districts where there is clearly visible inequality when it comes to relative professional advancement. This similar sort of discrimination can also be seen in other women-dominated field of nursing. Men are seeing an increased preference when it comes to hiring, promotion, raises, benefits, and professional development. The glass escalator turns what should be an advantage for various women of different professions in the workplace into a disadvantage. Yeah. So what gender is seeing an increased preference when it comes to hiring, promotions, raises, and benefits? I don't know. You got this. What? M. E. Good job. Men. You're right. And the glass escalator Men. turns what should be an advantage for women of different professions into what? I don't know. Uh, get your eyes on it. D N I N A and all the way over. D N Are we done? We can go take another break. We have two more paragraphs. Hey, look, oh, wait. What was it? <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, you do have a lot of gas there, dude. All right, the glass escalator versus glass ceiling. The glass ceiling, S-E-I-L-I-N-G, suggests that there is a limit on how high women can be promoted. The difference to be noted is that everyone is still able to ride up on this escalator. They are, however, moving at different paces and they can see how others are progressing. A glass ceiling is very limiting and restricting. Instead of a man working in a female dominant field, this is a woman working in a male dominant field. During this time, her coworkers, C-O-W-O-R-K-E-R-S, are once again promoted and sent up the line while she waits her turn. A common example of this type of field is a construction trade, in which on average women only make up roughly 10, one, zero, percent of the overall workforce. Due to the lack of female choices to select from, construction companies will often hire more men into higher positions on average than they do women. The glass escalator and glass ceiling are both social barriers that stifle, S-T-I-F-L-E, gender equality in the workplace and further atmospheres of discrimination and division. These two concepts are similar in the sense that genders are entering fields in which they are considered minor and the white man is progressing rapidly either way. All right, come on back. It says, what concept is described in talking about how high women can be promoted? A, I don't know. A glass what? Yeah. You got this. C and all the way over. D. And I am mm. L -M. I am G ceiling. Um, Are we done? What career field example did I mention? Nothing. You got this. 
because you have eyes on it. Up C and O and N and S and T and oh, next one R and C O N S T U and C and C O N S T R U C and go. Jump down T and I and O and N. Good job. That was a long word, huh? Yeah. All right. What percent did it say women make up in the construction trade? I don't know. One zero. That's right. Ten percent. Ten. Ten. Yep. Okay. The es the glass escalator and glass ceiling are both social barriers that what gender equality in the workplace? I don't know. You got this. Look at it. Look. 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 S and T and down I and up 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 F and L and E stifle that's right are we done we're getting there the hey. glass escalator concept relates to female dominated fields in the effects that white men have on these hmm. pink collar workplaces even though both women and men may begin at the same point, they are quickly distanced by advancement and increased pay simply due to the hidden advantages held by the male gender. Mm -hmm. Women are not denied advancement or necessarily told they cannot join a field. Instead, they are not considered for progression even when they have the same qualifications due to prototypical expectations, perceived career interruptions, and stereotypes. This can be reminiscent of the glass ceiling problem which restricts equality between men and women in the male-dominated workplace. Rather than nourishing the idea that men and women should always be mutually exclusive in the workplace, the concept of the glass escalator prevents society from achieving equality in the workplace and should be proactively abolished. Yeah.